Welcome back, cubbies. Are you ready to see our friend Cubby Bear? Are you? Yeah. All right, let's call him together. One. Two. Two. Three. Ooh. Cubby. Wait a minute, Cubby, where are you going? I'm running away from the tractor. I don't see any tractors in here, do you? No. Oh, okay, um. I was with Timothy and his friends at his birthday party. Right after we got off the train, I heard Timothy's dad coming in. The, the tractor, so I started running to hide in the trees. Cubby, why are you so afraid of tractors? They make loud noise and scares me, and they have big, giant wheels. I'm afraid the tractor will start chasing after me. Cubby, you don't have to worry. Timothy's dad is a safe tractor driver, and he doesn't chase anyone with the tractor. And besides, you're with your friends. I'm sure Timothy and Katie Collie won't let the tractor hurt you. <laughs> Katie, we were just talking about you. You would protect Cubby from the tractor, wouldn't you? Yeah. I would. I, I'll keep everyone on the farm safe. Timothy said, I'm the best dog around. Oh, you're a good watchdog, Katie. Yeah. Are the are the friends getting along any better at Timothy's birthday party? I heard they were having trouble being kind. Oh, the friends weren't getting along. Just a minute ago, Timothy wanted everyone to go on the hayride. The hayride. But when they saw Cubby running away, they decided to follow him instead. They're on their way over here right now. They started to follow them with right now. Oh, that's too bad. I guess they'll miss out on the cake then. Yeah. I heard Grammy Lois had Timothy's birthday cake ready at the bakery. Yeah. What cake? Come on, Katie. We yeah. better go. We don't want to miss the cake. Wait, Cubby, what about the tractor? I thought you were trying to hide. Oh, uh, well, I'm not so scared anymore. There's something about cake that makes all my fears go away. <laughs> Cubby, why am I not surprised that food makes you feel better? You two enjoy the cake, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Come on, Katie. What cake? Oh, I just thought I won apple cider. I get that too. Yeah. Bye, cubbies. Here's Katie to say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Today, our friend Cubby Bear felt scared. What made him so afraid? Cubbies, what are some things that make you feel afraid? Maybe some bad dreams would make you scared or a large animal, something like that. One time, God's people, the Israelites, felt afraid of a very big enemy. They forgot that God is in charge. They forgot God's promise that if the Israelites obeyed and trust in him, he would help them win against all their enemies. Young David would help them remember to trust God. Open your Bible to 1 Samuel 17. Here's a true story from God's word. Remember all the stories in the Bible really happened. You can believe them. One day, David's father Jesse said, David, take these 10 loaves of bread and these 10 cheeses and hurry to visit your brothers in the army. Find out for me how they are doing. I hope they are well. Early the next morning, David left his sheep with another shepherd, packed the food, and set off to see his three oldest brothers who were fighting in the Israelite army. Is that better? Now there's a shadow. Okay. When David arrived at the army camp, the Israelites were lining up to meet their enemy. 
the Israelites stood on one hill, and their enemy, the Philistines, stood on the hill across from them. David left his pack of food with a guard and ran to see his brothers on the hill. As David talked with his brothers, an angry voice boomed. Let's see who this angry voice belongs to, huh? Israel, let's see how strong you are. Send a man to fight with me. The giant voice came from a giant man. This man here. His name was Goliath. He was a Philistine, and the Philistines were enemies of God and God's people. Goliath stood over nine feet tall. Can you imagine that? How tall are you? Maybe three feet, four feet, somewhere in between there. Nine feet tall. Our moms and dads, man, they are probably five feet Evelyn's daddy's six foot three, and her mommy, me, I'm five foot two inches. So we're shorter than this man here. When the Israelites saw Goliath, they all ran away terrified. They forgot that God was in charge. They forgot to trust their mighty God and king who saved them from their enemies. But David did not forget. Who does this Philistine think he is? Does he really think he can beat the armies of the living God? I will fight Goliath, and God will help me, David told the Israelites and King Saul. You're too young, said King Saul. You don't know how to fight. I take care of my father's sheep. God helps me kill the bears and lions that attack the sheep. He will help me kill Goliath, David answered. Cubbies, what do you think will happen? Will the little shepherd boy David win against the giant warrior Goliath? Do you think yes or no? And why? Why do you think so? Open your Bible to Psalm 56, 11. David played the harp and liked to write songs. Listen to these words from one of his songs. In God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Psalm, Psalm 56, 11. David knew that God was stronger than any man, even a giant. David also believed God would fight for Israel as he promised. David went to a stream nearby and chose five smooth stones to put in his pouch. He held his sling in his hand and went to meet Goliath. When Goliath saw David, he was mad. He couldn't believe the Israelites would send such a young boy to fight him. Goliath said mean words to make fun of David. David told Goliath, 1 Samuel seventeen forty-five. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. David ran closer. He reached into his pouch. He pulled out a stone and whirled it in its sling, in his sling. Swoosh! He let the stone fly and it thumped Goliath right in the forehead. That angry giant fell face first into the dirt. Hooray! The Israelites hooted and hollered. They chased the rest of the Philistines and won the fight. Finally, they remembered God is in charge. Many years later, David became king because of his trust in God. Cubbies, let's say David's verse again together. Psalm 56, 11. In God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? These days, God doesn't promise to fight all our enemies like he did for Israel. Instead, Jesus tells us to love our enemies and pray for those who hurt us. But God does promise that he is with us at all times. This is a promise God gives us in the Bible. When you feel afraid, you can remember this promise and other promises from the Bible. 
Do you remember any other promises from the Bible? You can tell those to your mom and dad and always think upon those. All right, Cubbies, I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.